Hello everyone, I'm back today with another video, and this is going to be a ranked game against this player. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, but he is German with a little bit over 317 ELO, while I am approximately 570. Um, so I've gone with a bit of a more basic setup, um, nothing too risky, um, simply because I don't think I really necessarily need something like that. I should be able to play fundamentally uh, and have a good result in this game, I think. I have played this player several times on Stratego.com, um, but not yet on this website, and I don't exactly remember how he plays, so I'm going to go ahead and threaten to bluff, or put a bluff on that captain. Ideally, he would move over um, into my major. Wow. So that's a impressive um, bluff call by him. Most people normally at least retreat, even if they don't move next to the major. So I'm just gonna let that be. Um, I guess he kind of figures the major is, you know, a major or something of that strength. Okay, so trade sergeants. I'll go ahead and use the scout captain. Can we use a major here? Okay. So we're going to trade majors, it seems. I'm going to come up with this captain then. Alright, let's see if I pretend to trap this captain, what he does. If he moves down between these two, I I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to just bring your general or marshal out and sit it there. So if I do hit this with my colonel, which is what I'm going to do, because I don't think it's a marshal or general, it would make more sense to back up a advancing captain with colonel. Um, and so I am going to trade this. Um, if I, in the small chance, I feel like small chance that it's a general or marshal, I'm in a pretty big um, hole right now, which means it might be marginally better on a fundamental level to advance with the major, um, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hit this. Okay, and it's actually a scout, so it's nothing at all. Okay, so here's a more challenging situation. I don't know what that piece is. I'm going to just leave the colonel there. Okay, general. So either way, I would have had to sacrifice a piece, except for the very small chance that I moved the colonel up, and then he decides to, or he decides not to take the major. Um, but that's okay. That's, that's manageable, I think. So we know captain here. Don't, oh, of course, general, but don't really know anything else. Okay, I'm just going to trade that off. I'm going to retreat with the captain. I'm going to have to hit this. Mm, that's a bit unfortunate that it just happened to be a captain. I was figuring it was probably a scout or sergeant, but I didn't really want him to come in and have info. Let's see. I guess I'll follow this with my captain.
Okay, well, I've got my lieutenant back. That's good, at least. So I imagine that's not a very good piece. He'll probably hit into the lieutenant with it. If it moves over, I'm going to hit it with the major. Now, if I recall, he doesn't know this captain. Trying to get a scout with this miner. Yep, that's what I've done. Good use for a miner. I'm going to use the scout to bluff back up on the miner here. Right, I'm going to come up with my kernel and put it on this piece here. Okay, that figures. I know this is his captain and this is his general, that's all the info I know. I'm going to come up with the scout, try to get some info on the left side. See what he takes me with. Okay, I'm going to scout this. Colonel. Okay. I'll take this minor, not bad. So that move tells me this is probably a spy, because what he's doing there is if I trade kernels and he leaves it there, then I can shoot a scout down and two square his spy. So I think he's telling me that's a well, it could be his marshal theoretically. So, I guess it could be Marshall, too. But basically, he's trying very hard to make sure I don't think that's a bluff, that I think it's his Marshall or his spy, and it very well may be. Currently up a miner and a captain. Of course, down that colonel. Okay, expected uh, major trade. Now he knows this is a captain, so that could be something good. I'm going to take this. 
Perfect. I don't know why he would just advance with a major like that. I mean, it's pretty obvious I probably have something guarding. He doesn't know this major, but it has been a piece that threatened his captain. Wow. Very, uh, bold. Well, no, I guess that hasn't, that wasn't a lotto, actually, because that did move. But anyway, you figure, I had my colonel here already, you know this captain now, and you know that this is a piece that can kill a captain, at least, and it was a piece I was willing to save in place of a colonel. Um, and he just comes in with a major. That's, that's the type of play that will take a player from a winning situation to a losing one, now that he's down a major and a captain. Still have to find his marshal and colonel, so the job isn't done by any means, but that makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to come over with this scout and pretend like it's my marshal and force a trade. He's out of majors, so he only has one colonel here. I don't know if it's this one or this one or maybe something that hasn't advanced yet. Okay, so he's going to take it, which I half expected him to do. That's why I used a scout, not anything else. Now, on the very small and unfortunate chance this is his scout, my spy is actually dead. But that's a risk I'm willing to take if it allows me to trade generals like that. Just have to watch out for his, um, his colonel now. Okay, so I figured that. Um, that might mean he picks up a captain, if he remembers this. I'm sure he does, but, you know. This colonel was the one in the center, which makes sense. I'm actually surprised he didn't do that sooner, because there was a point where my major was trapped. Um, and he could have picked that up a lot easier than he did. Um, okay. I think my marshal's unfortunately a bit obvious by now. That said, I'm not sure if I should use my marshal to, to disrupt any type of trapping he tries to do on the major or not. Well, here's my major safe for now. I can't remember if this has moved or not. All right. Okay. Not quite sure what to do at the moment. Pretty sure this is a marshal. This is probably the spy, actually.
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up with a scout. I'm going to get the info on at least one of these pieces. I'm not sure which is the marshal, which is the spy. I'm thinking this is the spy and this is the marshal. But this will allow me to be sure. Interesting. Hmm. You know, I think, I believe this is the spy enough to do that. Hmm, that's not good, obviously. Uh, misread, then. I was pretty confident that was the spy based on how he played it, but obviously it ended up not being that. That puts him definitely in a big advantage to win the game here. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Alright, well, might as well try my lotto chances. I need to get at least a piece back, otherwise... Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Hopefully this isn't a moving piece. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, and that'll be the end of it. Because then we'll trade lieutenants, and he's got me. So, well played by him. Um, he got a colonel early in the game, which I took the lead back from him, despite that, uh, with the major and the captain. But he made a good read on my marshal, and he was able to um, go in with his colonel and get that material back. So that was a good, good um, play by him, and I think that shows to me that I need to... Well, one... I think it was too obvious a setup, and two, I probably needed to anticipate something like that more. Uh, but well played by him, and he definitely earned the win, and I'll see you all in the next video.